today you guys and welcome back to my channel so there's a little different uh, video here that I'm going to do before I get started on this guy so if you guys recognize this type of jack that takes that type of uh, pump uh, action to where this goes on here and does a teeter-totter teeter-totter and then it won't pull the plunger up no more but then you've gotten frustrated because the little metal clip that clips into here that pulls the cylinder up keeps popping off of there over a period of time it gets worn down or it stretches loses its strength and um, well then you'll just keep fighting it you'll lose it then you'll find it again and then the jack just sits there gets nothing done so I'm going to show you how I'm going to permanently fix this to where it doesn't happen again and then when this part wears down then I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to weld another one on it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to file this down and get the grease off of it. I'm going to file down this nut. This nut right here. Get all the rust and grease off of it. And I'm going to weld that son of a bitch right on the top of there. Then, I'm going to run this heavy duty bolt through it and that's going to take care of everything. So I got plenty of clearance inside there. It'll replicate what the jack is supposed to do and that should resolve our problem of that piece of junk metal tab from popping off of there so the other thing that causes it is this little tip right here this edge every time you pull up on it you're bending it further and further up so it's not able to stop it before pulling that metal tab off of there so that's a design flaw don't throw your jack away until you watch this. I'll show you that it's gonna be fully functional because then we're gonna use it to jack this up. I'm getting tired of that scissor jack. I dang on things only good for the front end of that uh, player spike. It ain't good for trying to jack up the rear of this. I'm getting tired of that thing falling on me and having problems. So we're gonna fix this, a permanent fix. And then you guys are going to give me some likes and subscribes and you guys are going to thank me for this one. So hang tight. I'm going to set up the hyper speed on this so you guys can watch the progress in action. So hold tight. that nut on there right on the tip of that little peter right there I made sure it was all the way up because if you put too much heat here you're going to melt your seal so I put it all the way up did quick tacks 
went over to this side did quick tacks. You want your nut to stay straight this way, so the hole goes through here, so it's lined up with this. So now, all it needs to be done is you put that on, you take the original oil again piece, line it up to the hole, through, put your carter pin, bend it out. So now that is going to stay there, get you a bolt, get a nut, screw that OEM shit. Sometimes that's not always the good answer. So run that right on through there. Tighten down on your cylinder. And the way she goes. Hit this hard as you want. All the way up and down. All the way up and down. No problem. Jack it right up. No issues. Okay. Turn it. Release it. Put it down. Problem solved. And you can still turn this all the way around. Just like the manufacturer. Now, the only thing that could possibly go wrong with this is over the period of time, that bolt's going to wear down. And the nut will probably wear down. So just cut it off, reset, do it again. Problem solved. What you ought to do is put a metal sleeve inside this area. Put a metal sleeve on that bolt where it goes through the... Uh, the nut that I put in there, put a metal sleeve in it so it has a wear point. So when that wears down, all you gotta do is just swap that out. And then that'll save you from having to cut that off and redo this again. So that's my permanent fix. All right, so now we're gonna test the jack so you all can see that it actually works. Okay, so the camera is going to start going up. <laughs> Press them up against the back of the buggy. So it's going to get past a certain point and then it's going to drop. So this way you can see it's actually working. And there's nothing wrong with it. That by method that actually works. So I hope you guys enjoy and hope you like it. Hit like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. See you next time.